What drives me is, is the thrill of discovery. To be the first person in the world to really understand what is going on at a biological level, a really fundamental level. So the problem we're trying to understand is what leads to things like heart attack and stroke. So what causes the clogging of our blood vessels? We've known for a long time that there are traditional risk factors such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, a lack of exercise and smoking. But we want to really understand what's happening at the level of the blood vessels and the cells that circulate around our body. In 2011, we showed for the first time that more white blood cells equals more vascular disease and the higher chances of a heart attack and stroke. So we know that white blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. So with the CSL Centenary Fellowship, I intend to understand the changes occurring to the stem cells within the bone marrow, which make them produce more white blood cells in the setting of heart disease. We have three projects. The first one is just to look at how changes in blood glucose affect the stem cells in the bone marrow. The second one is, is to understand how a high salt diet affects stem cells in the bone marrow. And the third one is a reverse on this, which is looking at how to get stem cells to move out of the bone marrow into the blood, which can then be harvested for people that are undergoing stem cell transplants. And this would be applicable diseases like leukemia. So in the next five to 10 years, we really hope that this will lead to novel drug targets which would then limit vascular disease in the setting of diabetes.